Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about our Kickstarter campaign to finance our new game, A Match Made in Austin. A Match Made in Austin is a storytelling card game based on the novels of Jane Austen. So basically, the object of the game is to match up male and female characters to obtain the best possible romantic marriages. At the beginning of the game, each player receives a set of male and female character cards. Then, as the game goes along, each player takes a turn hosting an event. It could be a party, a tea party, or a dinner, all sorts of events. So, Mr. George Knightley is hosting Reverend a ball. Reverend William Collins is, is hosting, hosting a tea. Each player sends a predetermined number of characters, depending on the type of event, and then the host indicates a series of incidents which can happen. As was commonly the case with the balls in the Regency era, uh, there were many officers from militias invited at the ball to keep companies to the various ladies because the militia was very popular and because there were many of them since we were at war with Napoleon. In the middle of the ball, there is a messenger who rushes by to the mansion and calls back all the officials of the militia because Napoleon is invading. And Half of the members of the ball have left. And now you're in a half empty room with a lot of people looking very confused and frightened because what the hell but is going on? But unfortunately, his, uh, I'm guessing it's a manservant, uh, has burnt all the cakes. There's nothing to eat. Each character reacts to these incidents trying to display their best qualities as written on the cards. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So with her words and, and wisdom, she kind of like rally everybody together and, and the party is going on and like, no problem. What does she do though? Words <laughs> and, and wittiness. <laughs> does she tell a funny story? She does. About how Napoleon is short. <laughs> <laughs> And then everybody laughs and oh, ha ha ha, everybody start dancing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she decides to play to entertain the people left at the party, and everyone enjoys it. So she really likes to show off how much money she has, and she can find <laughs> solution with her money. So she decided to uh, grab another of the servants. Uh, she gives him money, and she said. You go to the baker and you buy us the best cake um, to the world. I'm gonna play accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to show everyone how good she is at cooking because the bakery is actually really far from there. <laughs> so she has time to like bake everyone delicious cakes before the men servants come back. Based on these qualities and reactions and the roleplay that happens during the event, the turn goes into the next phase, which is the proposal phase, where men propose to women and are successful or not. All right, well, Robert Martin is going to propose to your, your woman. Mm. Elizabeth Bennett? My woman. Yes. And actually, so it's Fitzwilliam Darcy. That now is the point where the men try to do some kind of action, and now we try to attract. Elizabeth Bennett by displaying one of our uh, virtues that we think she would find the I most want appealing. Opposed to you, because you know my manservant keeps burning things. And <laughs> 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 then the marriage is determined happy or not, depending on some statistics on the card. <laughs> <laughs> So the reason we're having a Kickstarter here is that we have 27 female characters and 27 male characters and we're trying to give them a unique look. We don't want to have generic cards, we want each character to really look the way that they're supposed to from the novels. So we commissioned a very talented artist uh, to do all of these illustrations for us and we're trying to raise the money to pay her what she is due. So the kind of rewards you're looking at when you're supporting this project is obviously we have the game either as a downloadable PDF which you can print and play or the actual game itself printed on high quality cardstock and uh, bound in a box. We also have a couple of other special rewards. We have um, the novel The Admirer written by the author who is also the person behind the concept of the game, Aurelia Osborne. It's a novel that's set in uh, Victorian England and it has a bit of a Jane Austen feel to it, but mixed with a bit of mystery, kind of like Sherlock Holmes. So it's a very interesting read. Uh, so the novel is available as an ebook with some of the rewards or as an actual print book with uh, the higher levels of the rewards. Now our final very nice reward is 
uh, you can have a card designed with your character on it. So that's uh, very good. It, it is in limited quantity, so you might want to act fast for this one. We do have stretch goals, so if we meet those stretch goals, we will be releasing an expansion on this game, which will include characters from Sanditon, The Watsons, and Lady Susan. So just a little word about who we are. Renaissance is a Canadian publisher. Uh, we've been around for just a little bit over two years and we've already released five titles and we have five more coming in the fall. We've always wanted to get into board games and this seemed like the ideal doorway for us because it's a board game which is about books. We have a lot of experience in designing, binding, and printing our materials, so we definitely have everything that we need to make this game happen. All that we need now is your support, so if you want to just Click the button to help us bring this game to life. We'll really appreciate it.